All right, this is a, a video about the Pelican 1510 case I just had picked up. Uh, I'm super excited to try this uh, unit out. It's gonna hold all my lenses, all my drone equipment. Hopefully, anyway, it's, it does look a little small, but it's the right size for uh, a carry-on. Um, and I'm hoping that I can fit most of my gear into this box. I have a uh, 70 to 200 G Master which is about a foot long, foot long. We'll see how that plays out. But this is the case right here, 1510. I know there's the 1535. I didn't pick that one up just in thinking that it may cause some issues with travel. Like we do, we do do a lot of traveling. So on the inside lid, it did not come with this uh, extra piece, but this is the Pelican case lid organizer that uh, I also picked up. Is it in focus? Such a noob. And then I seen a cool little, uh, trick, I can't remember the guy's name on YouTube, uh, that had showed to use this vel these Velcro strips. You can literally just cut any size you want, and then you literally stick it to the back of this lid, make a rectangular. Maybe I'll show that in this video, I don't know. And uh, yeah, you just stick that to the inside of the lid, it holds all your cables, all your, so stay tuned, let's do it. TikTok was here, he'd be all about that. further discovery with dealing with this lid, uh, the Velcro system for the 1510 seems to kind of be pointless, but I decided, I decided to use it uh, anyway as sort of a backup. Uh, I didn't realize that this lid has, it comes with six screws, so you actually mount that to the inside of this lid. So you take that out, six screws in, and pretty simple. But I decided to keep it anyway, I put the uh, the strips down the center just to kind of give an added less chance of th something swinging around or pulling out, right? So that's that's the whole purpose of this um, the Velcro strip. So I just kind of pressed it together, good and solid. That is not going anywhere. This part is the tricky part. We only get one shot at this. You don't get multiple tries because these little. There's little cubes, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you can see how it's got little cubes. You, you line up all your lenses, your bodies, everything that you're going to put in this, and you only get one shot at it, so don't mess it up. All right, so I'm thinking I'm probably, uh, I, I might have, not a weird flex here, but I might have too much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even fit that in there, so I might just keep that out of it. But let's, let's start by, you know, the first thing and foremost, I suppose, with my lens configuration. We'll see if there's two ways you can do this. You can stand them up, or in my case here, I believe I'm gonna try to lay them down. Like maybe the, maybe the short ones here that are less than, this is actually the bottom layer. There's two layers in here. You know, will these lenses, they'll be sticking up a little bit now. Will that create an issue? It may, like laying down is the technique. Again, like I was saying before, you only get one shot at this, so that's, I believe, the majority of everything I wanted to get put in. Okay, so this is gonna be rather tricky to fit everything in, but we're gonna we're gonna try the layout. Let's let's see what we can start with. Never leave home without it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, I've got all the lenses laid down, and they appear to be the right thickness. Is that the right word? To set in sideways. Like I say, you only get one shot at this. <laughs> I wanna make sure we've got enough space in between each lens, but also... Oh, there we go. See, they're just 
individual little cubes. I'm actually gonna start by going on the inside of my mark and then just sliding the lens in. We'll see if that little bit of extra pressure will help, help it from rocking around. Okay, so that actually actually fits in there quite snug. So is my OCD gonna allow me to leave one sideways and one straight, or is that gonna bother me too? No end. This is obviously, obviously this is going to be the lens layer. What happens if it's sticking out of the top? As you can see here, it's a little bit higher. So if I go to put this piece actually in the box, will it still close in its current state? That does give you a little bit of leeway on the bottom. It looks like that's going to work. Beauty. Then I've still got room for my uh, 17 to 28 Tamron on the top layer alongside the other body. It's just a rough layout, you know, that way you go to the inside of this mark and it hold, should hold the lenses a little tighter. Totally honest, that was not fun uh, piecing it all together, but I will give you a quick preview of what the final product uh, sort of looks like. Of course, I'm missing <clears throat> missing a couple of the bodies, or one, one body that I'm of course using right now. So I was not able to fit everything in here. Uh, I kind of figured it was gonna be a little small for everything, but that's okay, it got 90, I would say 90%. The I missed my drone. Wasn't able to get that to fit. I came up with sort of a, I don't know if anybody else thought of this, but it was kind of a neat trick. I took the took the pieces that I pulled out, tried to keep them all as one, one piece here like that. And instead of throwing them out, I used them as just a, a mini insert to kind of just keep that separation between the two levels, right? Because there's a, there's a level of lenses on the underneath and then this one above has the body, and my little monitor, a couple of batteries and then all the odds and sods up here. See how heavy, oh, see that? So, of course, good little purchase. You can find it on your local Amazon.